Hello. I am in my backyard garden reading from the Bible. Today I'm reading from the book of Psalms. I will read Psalm number 83. Psalm 83 is a prayer for judgment on Israel's foes. And the reading begins. O oh God, do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace or be still, O oh God. Even now your enemies are in tumult. Those who hate you have raised their heads. They lay crafty plans against your people. They consult together against those you protect. They say, come, let us wipe them out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. They conspire with one accord against you. They make a covenant. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites, Gebal and Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyr, Assyria also has joined them. They are the strong arm of the children of Lot. Do to them as you did to Midian, as to Caesarea and Jabin, at the Wadi Kishon, who were destroyed at Endor, who became dung for the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmana, who said, let us take the pastures of God for our own possession. O oh my God, make them like whirling dust, like chaff before the wind. As fire consumes the forest, as the flame sets the mountains ablaze, so pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your hurricane. Fill their faces with shame so that they may seek your name, O oh Lord. Let them be put to shame and dismayed forever. Let them perish in disgrace. Let them know that you alone, whose name is the Lord, are the most high over all the earth. Here ends the reading of Psalm number 83.